1798 so i made a sale all right in this video i'm going to show you what i do every morning when i wake up in my business so instead of telling you so i'm going to show you right now so stay with me and if it's for the first time you're watching my video please do me a favor subscribe to my channel like and remember to click on the notification bell and anytime i drop a new video youtube will notify you so let's go to my computer right now i'm going to show you what i do every morning when i wake up the first thing i do before i even drink coffee what do i do and if you're interested in affiliate marketing i'm gonna leave a link down below you can you can click on it and to join my team for watching my video i'm gonna give you a free ebook but you're gonna have to go to my website to download it uh, i'm gonna leave the link down below and you can visit my website if you want free content on how to start your affiliate marketing business and if you want to learn more about affiliate marketing if you are a beginner just started or you want to start with affiliate marketing you don't know what to do you don't know how to start i have a lot of good information on my website on how to start and where to find a product to to promote if you are a beginner you have everything you need to start your journey with affiliate marketing remember it's not too hard but it's required a lot of work so you have to willing to do the work in order to make it work and let's go to my computer right now and i will show you what do i do in my business so the first thing i do i check my ad how do i check my ad I'm going to sign up to Microsoft Advertising or Microsoft Bean. So if you want to know more about Microsoft Advertising, I have a video that show you step by step on how to create an account with uh, Microsoft Advertising or Microsoft Bean and how you can create your ad and where to find a product you to promote. So check down below. I have a lot of video about Microsoft Advertising take advantage of let me sign in right now i will show you what i do all right this is my account microsoft advertising i have two ads running right now so i have a social paid that's a product from clickbank i have ultra v3 it's an affiliate program ultra institute that i am promoting and also i am a student from ultra i purchased the coaching program and when you purchase the program they give you the program also to promote so you can start making money and start the learning process it's a high ticket affiliate marketing where you can make a lot of money with that remember if you want to do affiliate marketing make sure you target the high ticket affiliate marketing product and make sure you go with digital product because the physical product there's a lot of work and they pay less like if you go to amazon to promote the amazon product if you want to go to like a cj affiliate to promote the cj affiliate product those product they pay you less because uh the owner uh the company who produce that that whatever you're promoting they have to pay for shipping they have to to store the product they have to pay a lot of fees you have to rent a building all those things so they cannot pay you like 50 70 percent but with a digital product all the person pay is uh, where to store the the product that's only they're using a software that's less money and that way they can pay you from uh, 50 to, to 80 percent some company they pay you 80 percent of the of the sale so anytime you make a sale they pay you 80 percent of that product so it's highly recommended if you want to do affiliate marketing you go with digital product so if you go on clickbank or jvzoo or adword media there's a lot of them out there you can choose that's give you all those products so you can promote uh, uh, courses you can uh, promote a uh, webinar you can promote software uh, you can promote uh, like a lot of, a lot of digital product but avoid physical product because if you want to make more money you have to make sure you go with uh, digital product so this is what i check so let's check how my ad does yesterday so yesterday was uh 6 30 
June 30. That was my son's birthday. And I spent $16 for this one. So this is a, a ClickBank product, but also I collect emails from this one. Whoever sign up, I send them to, to the product on ClickBank, but I keep their email address. This is how you build your business. You have to, like if the person the purchase this the first time, you can keep sending that person offers. If you don't do that, you the person come and click on your ad the first time and don't don't make the purchase the same day so you lose that customer forever you cannot track it because you don't have any information about this the the, the customer but uh if you ask that that, that person for their email address they give you their email address you can keep sending that person offer every day or anytime you have a new product you want to promote and this one i spent 144 dollars 04 the cpa i have a lot of videos about cpa on my channel uh the cpa that's been cost per acquisition so anytime somebody put the information uh, microsoft advertising charge you they don't charge you for when that person purchase but anytime somebody make an action they charge you so the cpa is 335 this is a little high because my goal is to have all my cpa at two around two dollars so this is a little high and this is the this is the average it's not for each keyword so i'm going to check each keyword to see which one the cpa is high and if i have to delete or post that keyword i will have to do that because we are doing business to make money not to spend money let's check our keyword this keyword make money online from home i spent 23 dollars let's let's check the cpa we have 27 click the cpa is 296 and it's convert at 26 percent this one is not not bad i can keep it it's high but let's try another one and see when you set up your ad the first two three weeks of your ad what do you do you collecting data because running your ad so if you not planning on winning like oh this one this one is six dollars and it's convert at ten percent so that's mean this one is too high there's no way I'm going to keep this one. So this is this is why we have the average uh, CP at three something. It's because I have some keywords that are too expensive. So this one is really expensive. So that's been I can I don't want this one. So let me pause this. One. Let me not pause. Let me delete it. Six dollars is a lot of money for, for for one. Okay, and I was gonna tell you when you start wanting your ad the first two three weeks you collecting data that's mean you have to you need to have enough data so you can optimize your optimize your ad and add more money to your budget so increase your budget so you can make more money the first ad you create start with a, a budget of twenty dollars twenty dollars and two ad group and then if the those keyword they do good you can increase your budget and optimize your your, your ad if they don't work good you change the, your keyword and add new keyword this one is below first page bid let's see the cpa is 230 this one is good so let's increase the the bid the bid was 60 they asked me to put it at 72. that's good and so let's let's check another one and when you're wanting add remember you have to always on top of it always check your ad because if you have a keyword that's overpriced and you let your ad running for a long time and you don't check it like this one the cpa is eight dollars so that's mean this one is killing me 
so I need to add more keyword uh, this one is really high and it's not convert so that's a problem if it was expensive and convert that, that, that was not gonna be a problem but it's not convert that's mean I'm wasting money and uh, we'll waste to this one let's check this one you have to check each keywords because you don't know which one going to make your sell you have to make sure all your keyword this one is two eleven and i realized something it's depend on the day someday your keyword are more expensive than than others so that's why you have to keep watching like if if one keyword is getting too expensive for you you can pause it and the next day you come back and put it back on because if you don't do that only one keyword might spend all your budget for one day and you don't make a lot of profit this one is ten dollars ten dollars okay after i check my my ad i make sure like everything is look good everything is all right with my ad and the next thing i do i go to my email list i go to my autoresponder where i'm going to check and see how many conversion did i have the day for the day before and that way i can evaluate how like i already check my my all my keywords so for the one for those one that's way too high i turn them off and then i'm going to check how many conversion did i have yesterday so i can make sure i can make sure i i am on track so let's go to my email list right now i use aweber for my email list so this is from yesterday i guess let's ref refresh the page okay so yesterday i i had 51 conversion so these these are uh, uh customer add to my email list those are not sell so i don't make 51 sell it's 51 people add to my email list and i have uh, uh 5165 in total customer not customers that subscribers those are those are subscribers and i have another list for my for my customers so anytime somebody purchase i put it in a separate list so let's check uh the first campaign is uh being 50 for the first campaign the, the, the second campaign it's only only one yesterday how much did i spend yesterday to get one that's terrible uh let's check again how much money do i spend but that ad is a new ad so i'm i am collecting data right now when you first set up your ad you have to let it run for a little bit until you can have so okay yeah like yesterday i spent 16 dollars and i have only one email for this product i'm going to click back or i'm going to show you what result do i have i show you my email my email list already and today i have three subscribers added to this one and one to this one so I check my email address I check my my ad and if I have sell they sent me an email so I'll, I already have it on my phone all I have to do is just come to this where the find out where the sell come from which ad convert and then add that person to my customer list so now let's go to clickbank where i'm going to check my clickbank account and see how that clickbank.com if you are interested in affiliate marketing and it is for the first time you're watching my video by the way if you're watching my video if you haven't done that yet 
please subscribe and you don't know where to start i have video step by step how to promote clickbank product you can go and watch that video and all you have to do is just come to clickbank.com and create an account it's easy it's the easiest platform on when it's come to create your account they ask you for like two three information and you sign up and you can go and take a look at what they have and choose a product first you have to choose a niche so check my video the top three niches on for affiliate marketing check that video and watch it so you can have an idea where to put yourself and i'm going to log into my uh, uh clickbank right now log click on login and then you put your information to log in all right this is my clickbank account so i made a sale the 17 17.98 so i made a sale this uh, this one i made this sale i made it on the 25th that was 21 that's that's another part another product and i made a sale for 17.98 so let's go to the report tab where i am going to show you the report and here is the the start a little bit i made from uh six six fifteen i made sixty three dollars for this week i don't make nothing for this week i make like i made twenty one dollars for twenty 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 four this is a recurring because i sold a product but the product has a recurring commission so this is a recurring commission and then yesterday I made a sell from the product that I'm I, I showed you like this one social paid so I had only one com one email one subscriber and that subscriber purchase so that's what give me the commission right here and let's go to report reporting and then this is it right here i have one sale for 17.98 so so those are all product that that i promoted before and uh yes this is how it is all right so this is 17.98 so i made a sale this is it for this video and if you want to learn how to do affiliate marketing the right way i'm going to leave a link down below on the description in the description click on it and you can learn how to do it the right way and remember to download jeff learner millionaire secret so if you want to learn the fastest way to become a millionaire you can start by reading that book you not paying nothing you just click on the link and go to my website download the book and start reading it and remember i will send you some if you download the book i will send you some more information on how to start your affiliate marketing journey so if it's for the first time you're watching my video, please do me a favor, subscribe, and see you.